Okay, so we just talk about, uh, I gave you a little bit of background about apical and basal polarity. We review again the idea of EMT. And again, I, it's in a previous video in case that you wanted to uh, listen about uh, this important uh, biological phenomenon that has an important implication into cancer. Now we're going to move into the extracellular membrane and focal adhesion so you understand the next video lecture so let's start okay so now we're going to talk about the extracellular membrane that uh, is a very important component of uh, any tissue uh, so underneath for example of the epithelia yeah you will find these two components of the extracellular membrane the first one is the basal membrane that we have talked before that is a, a thin layer when you find all these proteins that are located yeah that you separate this is the the space the tissue that the layer that separates the epithelia yeah that have like a border and here the second component is this em that is the interstitial matrix so both are part of the extracellular membrane and um, and they have different proteins and different structures will be there and both work for support as a support structures okay so remember the extracellular membrane has two main components the basal membrane and the intracellular membrane and i will talk about some type every tissue have certain proteins have a slightly different extracellular membranes and i will talk a little bit more about it okay so now we're going to talk a little bit again about the basal membrane and before so to do that i'm going to show you two schematics two diagrams here two type of different tissues the first one here on the top is an endothelium and the second one the one in the bottom is an epithelium both here in orange have a, a basal lamina yeah and a basal lamina is a thin extracellular matrix yeah that work for uh, that the function is the, to support and to separate tissue in the endothelium you have the bloodstream yeah so this uh, go inside and it's surrounded by endothelial cells and below those you will find this uh, basal lamina and in the epithelial you have the of course the epithelial cells and here you will have the basal lamina that separates uh, the, uh, the all the epithelial cells on the top while the basal lamina will be in the bottom and it will work as a support so uh, the basal lamina is located in between the connective tissue and the vasolateral side so here is the vasolateral side and the connective tissue will be below and it can be found in two uh, in different tissues like the endothelia that i show you here and the epithelial cells and as i said before different cell types secrete different molecules uh for the basal lamina so remember this uh to some degree let me delete this here to some degree each cell will create their own cellular environment yeah they will be so they secrete different molecules here yeah for the both the basal me membrane and the ex extracellular membrane but as you will watch in the video there is also an interaction because the extracellular membrane will also change the gene expression of, of, of the cells okay so now i'm going to talk about some of the components of the basal membrane why because you will hear some of them in the following video lecture so one of those components of the basal lamina it could be laminins yeah that they are mainly uh, found in the basal lamina or basement membrane uh, and again the basal lamina separate the epithelial cell layer from the connective tissue 
and now in addition to the basal lamina i will give you some of um, uh, more components yes i just wanted to emphasize that this will be important okay so uh, now i'm going to show you additional components and again remember the basal membrane can be also called basement uh, uh, basal lamina yeah and here you find a diagram and if you see there are so many intricate components in the basal membrane that are mixed and this gives support and also work as a permeability barrier so i already talked about laminin yeah so laminin important component uh, and actin here in green you can see it here you can see it here oh, another one that is very important is collagen and, and you have more components uh, like a different type of proto-glycans so glycan remember it is a sugar proteo is a protein so it's a combination between both like a perlican so these are just more components in the basement membrane that uh, you will use in in future lectures that you need to remember okay so to summarize i just told you that there is a structure called the basal membrane that is a thin and dense layer of the extracellular matrix and the composition can differ and is very dynamic between tissues so here you can find the an epithelial cells and underneath you will find the basal membrane yeah so you can find it here in between the epithelial cells and the connective tissue you will have here the basal membrane another thing that uh, you can find it surrounding cells or in, in the telial cells so here you see that in both cases here it will be the basal membrane and i told you that it, it could work on a structural support it can prevent in a tumor invasion it can uh, regular different cell behaviors and it control also the process of the production of different uh, of blood vessels that are very important for the tumor formation when a tumor form needs food so what it needs the blood vessels go there and give them food and then the true the tumors can travel in also uh, when they go or in the blood vessels uh, invading that and to invade they need to break this basal membrane so uh, one thing that they need to do later is break this basal membrane so how we break this basal membrane there are enzymes that we will talk in a second so okay so we finished the part of the basal membrane um, and uh, if you have any doubt you can rewatch the video or you can ask me in class okay so um, uh, here you can see another schematic that shows uh, here you will find the two the scm or extracellular membrane so very general perspective and here you will find the basement membrane that we have been talking here is the membrane and here is the cytoskeleton later on the cytoskeleton will interact with the nucleus so here is a very general perspective and here you can find different components so in the extracellular membrane you have elastic fabric different type of proteoglycans yeah here you have different type of collagen and here you see the laminins that we have been talking and here you will see that the laminin interact with the integrin uh integrin and then it will interact with the cytoskeleton okay so here they give you a very general perspective and here they can tell you a more uh, more the components in more detail in this uh, in the section here in the right so um, uh, now I'm going to tell you that a tumor to migrate so it has to uh, go on let's make it in yellow it has to go here okay it's not very clear let's put it in with a laser it has to go from here and go the break the basal membrane and the extracellular membrane yeah so 
The cells can alter the properties of the basal membrane by secreting enzymes that catalyze changes in the lamina. So, so in other words, you have enzymes that work like scissors, yeah, and that they will break this, and those can be used by um, uh, by tumors, yeah. So, these type of proteins are called uh, MMPs, yeah, that are matrix metalloproteinases. So, uh, proteinases is that it break proteins, yeah, and and they are uh, uh, these enzymes are very important because they will degrade the base, the basal membrane. And again, when you need to create new new blood vessels in normal conditions, is very this is a very common enzyme that is used. However, when it's used not in the proper context, this can be a uh, mm, uh, a marker for cancer. You know, when you find that the extracellular membrane the the basal membrane is broken, there is something wrong, and it's very easy to do just by expressing these enzymes. And what are called metal because they require a, a, a ions uh, as a cofactor to act. Okay, so in this slide, I told you all the information from a very general perspective. I remind you what it was that, uh, the different components, again, from the extracellular membrane. And I told you in more detail some of the proteins that are involved. And I told you that all those proteins can be broken, but these enzymes that we will talk that are uh, later, and you will hear them in the video lectures, called MMPs. Okay. Uh, so here I I made I took this a schematic from a scientific article that I'm sorry I forgot to write the citation. Uh, but the idea is that here, if you see there is a tumor, and here you have these MMPs that are expressed that will allow the tumor to migrate. Okay, so and uh, here you see different process, like the angiogenesis, that is the creation of new blood vessels. So here this is why you see these red branches that are very important. That here you see an invasion. So the MMP uh, need to break the basal membrane so the tumor can live. And here, this ectopic growth in an ectopic place. Ectopic means that it's in a different place that it's supposed to be. So, for example, an ectopic pregnancy means that uh, the baby is not in the right place where it's supposed to to be growing. An ectopic sex come, if you remember instead of being located in the leg, it could be located uh, uh, in the back of the flies, in the abdomen, instead of the leg. So ectopic mean grow in a, in, a different, in a different region that is not the common place. Okay, so here I told you that enzymes can alter the basal lamina. And in the previous slide, I told you that it, those proteins that here are shown as a a scissor are called MMP, and um, these they degrade the extracellular membrane locally in a specific spots, spots, and they allow the cells to pass through. And uh, those things are important for leukocytes to in, injure, uh, uh, to uh, to invade uh, injure tissues. So this again the same story is used in normal conditions for a specific cases. However, it, the cancer, a cancer, a tumor can use it to for invading other tissues. 